This video is brought to you by ProBoxingDepot.com where you can get all name brands at discount prices and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv alongside Miguel Torres. How are you doing? The Mad Mexican out here at K1. Doing good, man. I just finished taping The Burn with uh, Jeffrey Ross and uh, I got lit up a little bit so it was good. But I'm here now with the K1, watching K1 fights with one of my fans and uh, it's pretty good fights, man. What did they mainly harp on you for? Uh, my mullet and uh, a couple of jokes that I can't say on camera, I don't think. So I think I'll let you watch the show and see what he says. But uh, it's pretty funny. I got him back a couple times. Right on, man. So you just signed now. You were with Titan. Can you talk about the situation now you're over a World Series of fighting? Uh, once I was released from UFC, you know, Titan picked me up right away. They offered a, a, you know, a fight in my hometown. And uh, my manager, uh, the guys from Titan and the guys from World Series of Fighting, they all talked. And, uh, you know, they, they got me on the World Series of Fighting with a good contract. And uh, the stipulation was like a fight, one fight outside of World Series of Fighting for Titan, which is the one I was going to do in my hometown. So I'll do that at a later date after the November show. Okay. And, uh, you know, so everything with Titan is still good. And uh, I appreciate that for, for, you know, for them doing that for me. And uh, I fight November 3rd for, for World Series of Fighting. Main event slot. Is there any opponent? Is there anything you can tell us about what's going on there? Uh, you know, they, they have a couple of opponents in mind. Uh, one of them's having some issues right now. So they're trying to get everything worked out with the contract. There's contract issues. And what's the figure? I think I know exactly who that man is. Yeah, you probably know who that is. For sure. For sure. I can't say any names, but you know who it is. So. I think that's Tyson Nam, just for you you people out there. That would be a great fight. He's coming off a win over Dantas. What, what did you think about his performance there? Surprising. It, it was, it was, you know, it's MMA, so nothing's really surprising. You know, the guy, Dantas came in real hard, coming forward with an aggressive combination, and got caught. You know, it happens. Yeah. When I fought Bulls, I was running forward, the same thing happened to me. So, you know, I can kind of relate to that situation a little bit. There was, of course, speculation when you got released from the UFC that it was somehow related to the past Twitter thing, that whole that whole situation, you went on record saying it was not. Can you just clarify it? No, it wasn't. You know, I got my, my termination letter says it was for my performance. So, you know, I mean, I've been going through some, you know, some stuff, rough stuff with my gym, my training, my family. You know, it's, it's a lot of pressures, you know. And uh, I had a couple of personal issues arise and, you know, people go through things, you know. Once you get over those things, they make you a stronger person. Yeah. Well, what are your goals remaining? You've had such a great career already. You know, what are your goals? To get back to the big show there in the USC and get uh, that title again? My, my goal is to fight for whatever promotion I'm fighting for and be a champion for them. So whether it be World Series of Fighting, uh, Bellator, you know, Titan, UFC, whatever it is, that's my that's my goal. You know, first and foremost, I'm a fighter. Um, I fight for I fight. I get paid by the World Series of Fighting, but I fight for my family. You know, I fight for my daughter. You know, that, that's who that's who I that's who I support. So for me, my biggest my biggest things are to take care of them, and I will do whatever I got to do to do that. Your uh, what what area? Have you been maybe working on the most to, to get sharpened up? Uh, a ton of wrestling. You know, I always work stand-up and jiu-jitsu all the time since I was 16, 17 years old. But I've been focusing a lot on my wrestling, you know, just getting up and taking guys down. And, you know, me actually being the aggressor with takedowns. And it actually makes my stand-up a lot better because the guys are worried about getting taken down. So, you know, I'm just trying to mix the game up a lot. This is the first time I've actually stood next to you, and you're a big guy, man. Yeah. You're a big 35er. I'm big, you know, if I stand up taller, I'm a little bit taller. I, I stand like this, I fight all the little <laughs> small guys. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm 5'10", so I'm not that small. So the weight cut, how is the weight cut going up in your years now? You know what, I've never had a problem making weight. You know, my last fight, uh, before the fight, uh, before my training camp, I was about a buck 65. I was never that heavy before. And uh, I turned 30, and finally I think the weight started coming on a little bit. And once I started training, I was worried. And once I started training, the first two weeks, I was already 155. So it's just sugar, water, and just all the crap that I eat. You know, once I cut that out and I, I put in serious time on the mat, I, I, it gets rid of it fast. Yeah. So November 2nd, anything else you want to say? Um, you know, I appreciate all my fans out there to support me, you know, all the media, that all you guys look out for me, and uh, I want to thank World Series of Fighting, Ray Seffo, and all the guys. Um, whoever my opponent is, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train real hard and be ready for this fight. We're going to be the main event, so I plan, I plan to put on a good show. All right, Miguel Torres, you heard it there. November 2nd, you can catch him, World Series of Fighting, Las Vegas, Nevada.